ready to yeah, I'm ready back here, whatever you want. So this bag basically just came from my closet. It's not really that special. But I'm gonna start off with the music stand. Now, it's a weird looking music stand because it came from like a doll set when I was a kid, but that's not the point. But music is basically the backbone of like my personality. I've been in music since middle school, even throughout college, and it just improved my, emo my motivation, my, uh, it helps with stress, and it also helped create different friendships that even lasted up to this day. Now music's not really for everyone, especially since I play a lot of instruments, I sing in the choir, but that's basically all about me. I do play a lot of saxophones, and I will say saxophone's probably the coolest instrument, but that's just my opinion. Now, music can affect people differently. Like, it definitely helps with my stress, but for some people, they just like to listen to music when they like jog and everything, and et cetera. But it really just calms me down. It just really helps me out like throughout the day. But that wasn't the only thing I did in school. I was in cheerleading, I was in golf, I was in forensics, I was in a lot of stuff. I was so involved. That's why I got the pom-pom. I don't look like a cheerleader, I know. But I was in cheer for f all four years of high school. I was co-captain my senior year. It brought out my confidence because back in eighth grade, I was so shy. I hated talk talking in front of the class and everything. Um, it also taught me a, lot, a bunch about leadership and just how to like help with freshmen and just how to like cheer in front of the entire like school population. And I went to Plattville and it was about like a 400 students. And I'm not really a big per like people person, but like I learned to like it. I learned how to go, you know, you raw and everything like that. I also had to dance in cheerleading and I like to dance, but I got to throw girls and that was kind of cool. Now, for my future, I was gonna go into music, but I kind of switched over to history. That's why we have the globe here. That was not what happened. <laughs> well, history's not really for everyone. Like, you're probably thinking, history, that's kind of boring. Why would you want to major in that? Well, history's always changing and everything. Also, teaching doesn't really seem that interesting either. So you put two boring topics together. You think they cancel out, you know, get a little bit interesting. But to me, history is honestly really cool because history repeats itself. History is always just popping up everywhere with current events. And teaching, I just want to inspire people the way I was inspired. I really wanted to teach music, but music is more of a hobby for me. History is just kind of there. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's honestly really what I want to do with the rest of my life. I want to teach middle school and high school. I really don't like little kids. I'm not supposed to say that as an education major, but I intend to teach a higher level of education. And that's really what I want to do with my life. So, thank you. You know, you, you have a good distinction. Um, you love music, but you want to keep it as a hobby. But sometimes, when that hobby becomes a job, it loses some of the, the magic or the, or the ability to be able to rely. I mean, it's great if you can do what you love, but I mean, keeping music as a hobby or whatnot. So I do have a question for you. You said you want to talk either in middle school or high school. If you had your choice, absolute choice, would you rather teach middle school or high school? I probably want to teach eighth grade because it seems like a good range and like the kids won't be as disrespectful as in high school. I'm bringing this up because my wife taught middle school music for a number, number of years, and I know middle school teachers. It takes a special breed to teach middle school because <laughs> those kids are nuts. So yeah, eighth grade might be nice, kind of still middle schoolish, but kind of starting to prepare for high school. So that might be a good grade, but sixth and seventh grade. Are pretty nice. All right, good, nice to meet you. All right, next volunteer.